FHA loan for home buyers or first time home buyers. Um, we love helping our FHA clients all the time. It is an absolute great program from the Federal Housing Authority where it's enabling people who have 500, 580 credit scores or lower qualified that you would not qualify any, any other method to actually buy a home. And we love helping people with this. Therefore, really the goal of this video is uh, giving you some knowledge about the FHA loan part of one of the product of the loans that most of the institution they provide. No? Right. Um, and we want to talk about how the credit scores can be flexible and how you have a lower down payment, three and a half percent. Exactly. A little coming attraction. But first, I think we should do our introduction. So let's hit it. Hi, it's Alcantar. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Honestly, you call text all the time at 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Do not be shy. Also, don't forget our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Exactly. And one of the important things that really for any kind of loan you need is your credit score. Absolutely. No? Credit is everything. Okay, when you're buying a home, they care about three things. They care about your credit. They care about your debt. And then they care about your, your income, um, your assets, right? So those are the three things that we care about. Or well, not us. We're not mortgage lenders, but that's what they care about. Um, so with that, we're going to say credit score is number one. It's the first thing they're going to look at when you're going to try to buy a home. Um, and if you're going to conventional USDA, they typically want a higher credit score. They want to see that you're credit worthy. With FHA, however, you can be 580 and still get a home. Exactly. What about the down payment? Therefore, with the FHA, as my wife said, you can go 580. And if your score is less than... Hold on, five, before he gets to the okay. next score, you okay. have to... It, down it, payment. We're going to talk about the down payment is 3.5% for the FHA loan. Right, that so let's means get, that if you have, you're have you buying in the market $200,000 house, 3.5%, you need to come up with the 7000 for the down payment of your and loan. And he did that math off his head. Now we should talk about if your credit is lower than that. Say your credit is 500. You, you know, have a situation that happened and you fixed it and now you're good, but your credit is 500 because that situation happened. How much money do I need to bring? Therefore, I don't know exactly it should be 500 or higher, but anything lower than the 580, guideline 500. the guideline says, you need at least 10% to put the down payment to be eligible to get that FHA loan. Now, this but is not, this is not the only things right, that you need to take not care include, of. It. Either one of those numbers does not include closing costs, and that's a separate number that you also have to be able to, to deal with. Exactly. Now, this why is this done? Now, understanding that people with lower credit scores, the, F, the Federal Housing Authority believes that you should be able to have home ownership as an option for you. It is a vital tool for people who who have a situation that's happened to them financially or they have, you know, financial constraints. So it's a really, really good program that way. Now, tell us what you were just saying. Basically, well, what I was trying to say is uh, beside of the three and a half percent down payment mm -hmm. and also, the credit score, they're going to look at your debt to income ratio mm -hmm. too because that's also play a major role in giving you a FHA loan. Absolutely. So your debt has to be... At we have a whole video and a video series that we're making on how much one payment can affect how much home you can afford. So if you have a student loan, if you have, if you have a car payment, if you have... Uh, finance, uh, credit card debt, these are all going to affect how much homes you can afford where credit one is coming soon. Um, but we're really trying to make those so you can understand how your debt affects your home buying. Exactly. And the simple formula is you need to have the, your annual gross income before taxes and divided by all this debt that you have that is a different category, like a housing or personal loan or credit card loan or a student loan or the auto loan. And then that gives you the percentage. What is the percentage? That is usually you are eligible. In the restrict guideline, they say 43%, but you need to talk to your lender 
depends on your asset and your credit score, they might go above 43%. And that's also what we're doing, the general simu uh, story stim simulations on how different of debts can affect you. Now, we hope you love talking about FHA. We would love to show you homes if you're uh, you know talking about FHA loan. We are real estate agents. We love helping people in the Greenville, Winterville, Aiden, Farmville, our Pitt County area. We love talking to you all the time. Uh, and we love people who want to move here all the time. We, we exactly. love it here. And don't forget to put a comment for us if you wanted to add your story, your experience. And call and, us at 252-327-3357. Talk to you soon.